Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and feeling well and I hope that this video helps you. This is going to be another kind of beginner recipe video. I'm actually making an oil-free, more like whole food, plant-based vegan mayonnaise today. And I'm doing this because my dad needed this, so I know lots of other people will need this as well. He is like, oh, can I just go get some mayonnaise for to make coleslaw? And I was like, well, that's just made with oils and processed oils. It's not really good for you. So let's get an alternative. All we're gonna need today is some tofu. I've got firm tofu here. I think it would also work with um, silken tofu, but it just depends how much other liquids you end up adding in. Hello, Zia Some chickpeas. Really, I'm just gonna use the aquafaba, which is the liquid from the chickpea can. We're gonna need some apple cider vinegar lemon, garlic powder, onion powder, which I don't have, so I'm just skipping that, and some salt, if you want to add salt. You could totally leave that out as well, depending on your taste. And then we're just gonna blend all of this up together and make some mayonnaise. I'm gonna make a small batch today because I don't really need it, and in fact, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to do with it at the end of this as well. But, so I'm gonna make a small batch and you can easily just double this batch. So I'm gonna use a half a pack of tofu. You could use a whole pack if you were making a full batch of mayonnaise. So I'm gonna add that in. I didn't even drain it because we're gonna kind of liquefy this a little bit anyway. So it's fine if some of the water gets in there. No big deal. All right, then we're going to add some apple cider vinegar. So we're going to do about half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. That's kind of a full tablespoon. It came pouring out. There we go, that'll do. And I'm just kind of trying to measure a lot of times I'll just kind of throw things together, but for the sake of you guys being able to replicate, I'll give you some estimated um, quantities. And we're gonna do half of a lemon for this size batch. Just the juice, and this is quite a juicy lemon, so I'm probably not even gonna squeeze the life out of it. I'll leave some in there. You need like half a tablespoon. I mean, no, about one tablespoon. One tablespoon of lemon, juice, which if you have a really juicy lemon, it's like half of a lemon. Then we're gonna add some of our seasonings. We're gonna do garlic powder, about quarter of a teaspoon, or just a little dash, just depending on how much garlic you like. And then you would also add the same amount of onion powder, but like I said, I'm just skipping that because I don't have onion powder here with me today. And then we're gonna use some of the aquafaba from the chickpea, so that's like the chickpea brine. And I'm just pouring some in there. It's probably gonna be like a tablespoon that you would use. And this is basically like the egg substitute for the mayonnaise. So this is gonna help it kind of whip up and give it the texture. And then just a little sprinkle of salt, just for flavor. like a tiny pinch. And then we're going to blend all this up. Hopefully it will blend well since it's such a tiny amount. Let's see how it goes. Hi, you baby. All right. It looks maybe a little bit thick, so I'll just have to add a little bit more aquafaba. Actually, it's looking pretty Darn good. Okay, try not to spill it while trying to show you guys. Use the spoon with the longer handle. Make sure. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. That is mayo. Mayo. What? Perfect. Oil free. Mm. Mayonnaise. That's all you need to do to make an oil free, low fat pretty much whole food based. I mean, tofu's processed, but it's whole food. And um, there you go, you got a vegan mayonnaise. 
And then all you need to do, which is probably what we will do with this batch, is if you want to make a vegan aioli, just add some fresh garlic and blend that up in there. So I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic to this, make an aioli out of it, and then we can use it on our macro bowls and things like that. My dad's going to use this, like I said, to make his coleslaw. And I'm just adding a little bit more lemon juice because I think it could use a bit more of the zing. But that's it. Blend away, simple, easy ingredients, and then you've got, like seriously, that consistency. Vegan mayonnaise. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to click, click the subscribe link down below for more videos like this. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.